Hey you guys, it's your girl Tierra Monet and I'm back with another tutorial on how I do my nails. Now listen, this is how I do my nails. I do know how to do acrylics, full acrylics, but um, that take too long and I don't be having time for that. So I figured out a way to do them that's quicker but still using acrylic. So what I'm doing is getting ready to just buff out my nails. I'm using a medium grit sanding nail bit to just get all the shine off my nails. So you want to just do that to each nail. Be sure not to over um, buff it, otherwise you would just mess up your nail bit. And I'm sorry that I'm kind of like going in and out the camera, but it is really hard to record and um, do your own nails at the same time. So just bear with me. So after you get done sanding, you want to go ahead and push back your cuticles. I'm using um, this Kiss little cuticle pusher and just pushing back all my other nails, pushing back all my cuticles um, on each nail. Now I'm only doing one hand right here because like I said, it's hard to record and I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to do my, um, my right hand the way I wanted to and show you guys at the same time. So I'm only doing one hand. So then next, what I'm using right here is just like an antibacterial um, spray. And I just spray it on my hands. Well, I guess I sprayed it on the um, little the little pad thing and then wiped my each nail off. This also helps take off shine too. So. So then after that, what I'm using is this KISS primer. And the primer helps keep the acrylic one really good and don't like um, don't like cause any lifting or anything. So you want to just put that on each nail. Be sure not to get it on your um, actual skin because sometimes it burns because you may cut yourself. Everybody cuts themselves with the drill. So just be careful with that and when applying that just you want to let it dry and then apply a second coat to each fingernail So what I'm using is the over the Kiss brand overlay um, long and curve. Now this helps with what you guys gonna see me do next. Usually with acrylics, I will use um, just like some type of tip, but instead um, for this overlay, it kind of it's kind of like a press on. So so I just went ahead and measured um, each nail off off camera and. Um, for my fingers so then you want to get your acrylic really ready and you also want to get your monomer and your brush ready so what you're going to do is take a bead of the acrylic and um, just put one bead on your nail like i'm doing right here and the acrylic that i'm using is just uh, an acrylic from sally's um the and it's in a cup in a clear color and it's called the beauty um 
beauty i can't remember the name it's something beauty but it's just a clear acrylic no special type of acrylic or anything and i did get it from sally's so like i said so then you want to um just press it on your finger i was kind of struggling like i said i was struggling throughout this whole video so you want to hold it on your nail a few seconds well almost like to a minute to let the acrylic kind of get tacky and then you want to clean up around your nail with any um, acrylic that spilled out now if you have a if you don't have acrylic that spilled out you didn't use enough acrylic and your nails will fall off so you want to put on enough acrylic to make sure um, that it spills out and then clean it up under your nail and around your nail so you won't have any lifting and like I said, this way that I'm doing it is sort of like press lines, but like to a different level. And um, usually with press lines, you would just use some type of nail glue, but it eventually, like within a week or so, it'll fall off. So with this, uh, with the acrylic, it acts as a glue and holds better. And um, my nails usually last for about almost a month without any breaking or lifting off since I've been doing this method and I've been doing this method for almost like a month or two now so so like I said it works pretty well I will um, post a, a four week review after um, after I post this video so just so you guys can see how long they last and I won't I won't fix anything you will see how they look afterwards and everything also to help strengthen up the nail you want to um, make sure that you double up each overlay so what I mean by double up is um, put two of the press ones together at once so uh, what I did for that is I had one press on, put some actual nail glue on top of the press on, and then put the other press on on top of that. So right here you can see what I'm talking about, what I mean when it spills out. Um, you see how it's like spilling from side, like out of the sides and stuff like that. So that's what you want to clean up. You do not want that to get dry on your nail because, like I said, it'll cause lifting and a whole. And there you go, gotta redo your whole nail. But um, another thing that can cause lifting is not prepping your nail correctly. I don't. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the minute beginning of the video but it's so important to prep your nail correctly you want to make sure that you get all the shine off you want to push back your cuticles Another important thing is making sure you clean off your brush. You want to clean off your brush before you dip back into the monomer. Otherwise, left on acrylic will get into your monomer and there you go struggling again. And you don't want to struggle. That's the whole point of this way because it's quicker and you just don't feel like struggling. So make sure you wiping off your brush after each um, application to each nail. I'm sorry y'all I keep forgetting to tell y'all stuff but um, the monomer I got that from Sally's also and that's just um, the beauty collection that's the name Sally's beauty collection um, 
and that like i said it is nothing special either you can really use any monomer you well no let me not say that you want to use the monomer that comes with um the type of acrylic you get i mean it's okay to use um different monomers but for a better um a better hold you want to use the same brand uh, monomer that you use for your acrylic So this is what it looks like after I apply each nail. They almost look like acrylics, but haha, <laughs> they not acrylics, they press on girl. Next, what you wanna do is cut your nails the way, the length that you want them to be. Um, this is a actual uh, acrylic nail cutter and I got that from Walmart or Walgreens. It was pretty cheap. It was like um, like probably like five dollars I think but I use this because it is hard as hell trying to cut your nails with a motherfucking nail clipper. It's not meant for acrylic nails and shit like that. It's meant for regular nails so that shit hard as hell. But um, right here like I said I'm doing I'm just cutting them down to my to the length that I wanted them to be. And then next, I'm just gonna go ahead and foul how I want, it to, want them to be. Um, I did foul them into a, um, a coffin shape. And then later on, I end up cutting them down because I caught myself trying to do some grippers. And girl, no, it did not work for me. I couldn't grip shit. So I did end up cutting them down. And like I said, I was riding a struggle bus trying to record and foul my nails. So I'm sorry, y'all. But um, after I get done fouling my nails, you want to go ahead and buff the top to get all like little scratches and stuff like that off the nail. And you want to do that to each nail. After you get done buffing the nail, you can go ahead and polish them. I got this color at Target, and it's the Sally Hansen. I'm not sure the name of it, but girl, they got a whole bunch of nudes, and this nude just popped out to me, and I loved it. So um, you wanna just go ahead and paint your nail. I struggle painting my nails still to this day, and I am grown as hell. So if you see a little messed up, don't, um, don't don't say nothing about it just just go along with the video you're not here for a critique you're trying to learn something After you finish with the first coat, you want to go ahead and put a second coat on there and then let that dry. And then next, what you want to do is put your um, top coat. And that's what I'm doing right here. You want to put a top coat on all your nails. is 
the finished look you guys hopefully this was helpful for anybody out there that want to try to do their own nails or um just don't feel like sitting in the salon to begin your nails done or even if you penny pincher this is the cheapest way because y'all know them nail techs be charging up uh, an arm and a leg for some nails that you can honestly just do at home so if you like the video, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.